start standing because I, like I was saying, I've been sitting all day. I can't imagine um, sitting at the moment. So let's go ahead and just roll those shoulders back and down. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Take a deep inhale in. And exhale. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, just swan dive forward. Grab your elbows or let your arms hang. Let's just kind of ragdoll here. You can have as much bend in your knees as you would like. Just give it a little sway, front and back. You could go side to side. You can do little circles, whatever feels good for you. And let's let the arms hang heavy. We have a bend in the knees. We're imagining we've got one of those big Pilates balls. And we're bending those knees. We're just gonna roll it up one vertebra at a time. Roll the shoulders back and down when you get to the top. Inhale the arms up and exhale. We're gonna do that same thing. A nice big C curve. We've got that big Pilates ball. We're rolling it down. Bend the knees when you need to, to get to the mat. The hands towards the ground. Take a breath here. Let's bring the hands to the shins. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale, fold. Breathe. Let's bend those knees. Arms are around that big Pilates ball and we're rolling it up one vertebra at a time, imprinting that back against the wall behind us. Roll the shoulders back and down when we get to the top. And let's just go ahead and roll the shoulders out. And roll them forward. And hold. Inhale the arms up. Let's go ahead and bend the right arm. Left arm comes over, just be careful of that elbow joint and give it a stretch. Also be careful of your neck. So if you feel you're putting pressure on that neck, just release the arm out to the side. Breathe. And go ahead, bring the arms back down by the side. Inhale the arms up. And exhale, fold the other arm. So left arm folds, right arm comes across. Again, be careful of that elbow joint and the neck. Breathe. And let's go ahead and release. Let's go ahead and interlace the fingers behind our back. Roll the shoulders back and down and just pop the chest. Just give yourself a little stretch here. And now let's release. So let's interlace the fingers in front of us, flip the palms so they're facing away from us, and stretch the other way. So we've got a nice little arch going on here. And release. Give it a nice shake. Let's bring the right arm across, left arm folds, or whoever works for you. Again, be careful of the elbow joint itself. Breathe. And release, give it a nice shake. And left arm comes across, right arm brings the arm across the body. Breathe. And release, give it a nice shake. So let's just go ahead and just sway side to side, little twist. One more each side. Come back, center. Inhale, exhale, chin to chest. Only go as far as works for you and your neck. Inhale, center. Exhale, chin to sky. Again, only go as far as works for you and your neck. Inhale, center. Exhale, chin to chest. Inhale, center. Exhale, chin to sky. 
Inhale, center. Now we're gonna just turn the head toward the right. Inhale, center, and exhale to the left. Inhale, center. Now to the right. Inhale, center, and to the left. Inhale, center. Now we're just gonna drop right ear toward the right shoulder. Be careful, gentle here. And inhale, center. Exhale, left ear, left shoulder. Inhale, center. Now we're gonna drop head toward the, uh, the neck, chin toward the chest, and we'll move into head or neck rolls. So we inhale on the way up, exhale on the way down. You get to choose how fast or how slow, how big and how small. And we'll reverse. Inhale on the way up. Exhale on the way down. And we'll meet back in center. So we're going to bring the weight into the left leg. We're going to bring the right leg behind us. If you need to hold on to something, go ahead. And let's just give this quad a little stretch here. Breathe. You can stay here. If you want to move into dancer's pose, you can move it forward a little. And release. Give it a little walk out, a little shake. And let's build that on the other side. So weight is going to be in the right leg. We're bringing the left leg behind us. We're staying here for a few breaths. And you can stay here or you can bring it forward coming into dancer's pose. And release. And just give it all a little shake. Alright, so we're going to move into some leg work. If you've got little weights, you can grab them or whatever size weights. So we'll do the first set without weight and then the second set with weight. If you want to do weight the whole time, you certainly can. So first up are squats. So feet about hip width apart. And we're really driving through the heels and sitting the, the bottom back, okay? And here we go. And inhale up. Two. Inhale up. Three. Inhale up. Four. Inhale up. Five, inhale up, six, inhale up, seven, inhale up, eight, inhale up, nine, inhale up, and ten. Hold it here. Make sure that the knees aren't coming in. You got a little, you got at least a little separation there. You're not completely splayed out wide. Breathe, you got it. And come on up, give it a little shake. All right, so we'll do that set again. If you wanna grab little weights, you can. I'm gonna grab a bigger can. And here we go. Sit it back and up. Two and up. Three, watch those knees. Four, weight towards the heels. Drive up. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And last one, 10. Hold it here. Breathe. And come on up. And you can put the weight to the side. If you need to grab a sip of water, you can. So, 
Next, we're gonna do a lateral lunge. So what we're gonna do is we'll start with the right leg. We're stepping the right leg out, we're bending, we're really putting weight, we're shifting the weight back into the heel, really activating this glute. And then we step it back together. And two. And step it together, I'll come sideways. Three. And up. Four. And up. Five. And up. And six. Bring it back. Seven. Eight. Nine. And one more. Ten. And bring it up. So we gotta do that on the other side. Make sure I don't hurt myself in this process. So this time, right? We're stepping left leg out, we've got that bend, we're really activating that glute, putting the weight in the heel, stepping it back. And two. And three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, and one more, 10. And step it together. So again, if you wanna grab some little weights, you can. So I'm gonna have two this time. And so as we step it out, we can bring the weights here or we can kind of reach down with them and bring it back. And two, and back, three, Four, five, six, make sure you're breathing, seven, you should really start to feel that glute, eight, nine, and one more, ten, and now the other side. And here we go. Step it out. Two. Weights in that heel. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, and one more, 10. And step it up. Give it a little shake. So now, this time, we're gonna do what we call a single leg deadlift. So we're gonna start with the left foot, the right leg is coming back. You can have a little bit of a bend in this leg, and our arms coming down, we're shooting that leg back. So I'll turn sideways so you can see. So we're bringing it back. You can imagine you're pushing that foot in the wall behind you. We want the hips to be level. All right. So here we go. One. And bring it together. Two. And together. Three. And together. Four. And together. Five and together, six, and together, seven, together, eight, together, nine, together, and 10. And bring it up, and we'll switch to the other side. So now, the right leg is the stable leg, and the left leg is the one that's coming back. So again, right, we're coming forward. Only go as far as you can maintain good position. If you start to feel this in the low back, then you're going too far or you're a little bit tilted. All right, here we go. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and one more, ten. And come on up. Give it a little shake. So again, you can do that set again without weight or you can grab one. So you'll want it in the arm of the leg that's coming back. Okay. So left leg is gonna be the stable leg, the, left, the right leg's the one that's coming back. And here we go. One and two. Three, four, five, six, check in on that back, seven, make sure you're not loading in that low back, nine, that was eight actually, nine, and one more. Not any better counting out of the studio than I am in the studio. All right, and so let's switch other leg. And so the weight switches, and here we go if you're using it. And together, two, together, three, bring it forward, four, Five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, and last one, ten. All right, we're gonna put that weight to the side. And Let's go ahead and we'll do a little bit of arm work. So you certainly don't need to use weights, but if you have your weights, go ahead and grab them. So we're gonna stay standing, a little bend in the legs, arms are coming out into a T. You have a slight bend in those elbows so we're not hyperextending. And let's just do little circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, hold. Now reverse direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, hold. Bring the arms down by the side. So now we're just gonna bring the arms out a little, out a little more, out a little, up a little, up, and hold, hold, two more breaths, now we bring it down a little, down a little, down a little, and to the side, just get roll the shoulders out, and arms come up to the T, and here we go, then let's do circles, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, hold, and reverse, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, bring the arms down, and now we'll bring them out a little, up a little more, up a little, up a little, and to the T, make sure you've got that little bend in the elbows, Hold, two, one more breath, and now down a little, down a little more, down a little more, down a little more, and by the sides. And you can roll the shoulders back. All right, so now 
we're going to go ahead and we're going to come out to second position wide. So in second position wide, the feet are out on a little bit of an angle and we're coming into a working position. Right? So it's whatever's wide works for you. We have a little pelvic tilt here, engaging the legs as we're doing this. So hands are by our sides. Again, you can have the weights or not. And we are going to serve the tray and then bring it back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Go ahead, stand it up for a second. Give it a little shake side to side. And let's go ahead and set up for our second set. So come into that nice second position. Again, if this doesn't work for you, you can stand up. Just make sure you have a slight bend in your knees. Arms are out by your sides. And we serve and bring it back. Serve, bring it back. Really think about engaging those lats, this big muscle right here. Right? We're bringing it out and controlling it back. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, and ten. And go ahead, give it a little shake. So now we're going to come down to the mat to a low lunge. So I'm going to start with, so if you need extra cushioning, you can fold the mat over. Um, let's start with the right leg back and the left leg is forward. So I want you to be stable, but also get a little stretch in this back leg. So the back leg's on an angle that works for you. This front knee is in line with the front angle ankle because we're going to be doing some weight work. A little pelvic tilt here to kind of protect that low back. So let's do biceps. I'm going to up my weight a little bit here. The bigger cans. Okay. So we're not jammed in. Slight little like, apricot size space. And here we go. Curl. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now just come halfway and let's do little pulses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And let's switch legs. So left leg is staying back, right leg's coming forward. Check that knee and ankle alignment. Check the back hip, make sure you're not compressing the low back, doing anything funky. And here we go, curl. We're not jammed in. Two, breathe. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. Come halfway and little pulses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And release. So now we're going to have our legs straight. Hips are coming straight down from the legs. Um, you'll need one can. We're going to bring the arms overhead and this is all going to be tricep. So we're bending the elbows and extending up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come halfway and little pulses. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, bring the arms all the way up. We're going to do that one more time. And down. Up. Two. 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come halfway and pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and release. Go ahead, shake it out. Take a little, little break, a little sip of water. All right. So I know some of us are having a push-up challenge. So let's do a few push-ups. My wrist is bothering me, so I have the piece to kind of help me. Um, you can be full up, if that's the way you can do your push-ups. You can go find a spot in your house where you can do elevated. So sometimes I use my coffee table. Sometimes I use my counter, right? And the other option, of course, is that you can have knees up. All right, here we go. One, think about engaging that core. Your head's not looking down, you're looking straight out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right. So, let's come to all fours, turn sideways so you can see, and we are going to leave the weight in the left leg, we're going to extend the right toes behind us, lift that back leg no higher than your bottom, extend the left arm out, so the opposite arm, and breathe. Keep breathing. and release. You can shake that wrist out a little bit and let's set up the other side. So the left leg is sticking, the toes are sticking back. We're lifting that leg no higher than the bottom, really engaging the core here. Extend the opposite arm if you can and here we go. Breathe. out those wrists. So we're going to do that again on each side. So right toes back, left arm extends if you can extend. Breathe. Engage that core. And release. Give those wrists a shake. And let's set up other side. Left leg back, lift. Extend the right arm. Engage that core, and here we go, breathe. And release. You can go ahead and bring your big toes together. The legs can spread out as wide as the mat or a little wider, and you can come back down into child pose. Or if you prefer to cuddle yourself a higher arc, you can in shell and just gives yourself a few breaths here. Let's come back up to all fours. Let's go ahead and take the right leg and we're gonna pivot up to the side. The right hand is gonna come straight down from the shoulder and we're gonna extend the left leg out long. So, like, so, and you can leave the hand on the hip or you can extend the arm up to the sky. <sighs> Breathe. <sighs> and release. Come back to all fours. So this time, left leg's coming out to the side. The right leg's extending back. It's the left arm. Make sure that arm is coming straight down from the shoulder. And go ahead, extend the arm either to the hip or up to the sky. All right, and release. So, 
Now this time, you can do that same thing. So you can do that gate pose again, um, or we can come to side plank. So in side plank, right, you can have both legs out. You can be up on the arm, or you can come on the forearm and have both legs out. So you can have the top leg slightly in front of the back leg to help with your positioning. Again, it's really important to have the shoulder right underneath that arm. Let me move these out of the way. All right, so starting on the right side, so you're either doing that gate pose we just did or you're coming to side plank. And here we go. Think about getting this top hips just slightly forward. We're really getting a nice arc here, getting into that oblique. Breathe. A few more breaths. And release. And we're going to go ahead and do that on the other side. So again, you can do that gate pose or you can come into your side plank. So you can be on that extended arm. I'm coming on my forearm. And get your legs in the position that works for you. You can always do side plank, I forgot to mention, down on your knees as well. So your knees are slightly out on an ankle, a little lift here. All right, here we go. <sighs> Hips slightly forward, a nice arc here, breathe. Two more breaths. All right, I like one more breath. And come on down. And give it a little shake. Grab a sip of water if you need it. So let's come on down onto the mat. I'll turn sideways again so you can see. So we're gonna lower down onto the mat. And let's go ahead, we're gonna extend our legs to the sky. If you need to have a little bend in there, you can. So we're gonna do lower rectus lifts. So in that, we're not jamming our shoulders or putting pressure here, it's a small little lift, really working the lower abs. So we lift, and we're not swinging the legs, it's just a small lift up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, make sure you're breathing, and 10. Go ahead and fold the feet down. Take a breath in and exhale. So we've got this little neutral, natural curve in the spine. Let's inhale, exhale and print. Bring right leg into tabletop. Bring left leg to meet it. Let's bring the hands behind our head. Inhale, exhale, bring the upper body forward. So now we're thinking about bringing these ribs towards these hips. It's a small motion, we're not jamming from the neck. If you're putting pressure in the neck, cross your hands. And here we go. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Inhale, hold, exhale, bring the upper body down. Hands come by your sides. Extend those legs back up. So this time, we're just gonna flex, point, lift. Flex the feet, point the toes, lower rectus lift. Flex, point, lift. Flex, point, lift. Flex, point, lift. That's five. Flex, point, lift, six. Flex, point, lift, seven. Flex, point, lift, eight. Make sure you're not swinging those legs. Flex, point, lift, nine. Last one, point and lift. Now, you can leave the legs up high. You can bring the legs bent. Hands come behind the head. Make sure you've got an imprint in that low back. Inhale, exhale, upper body comes forward. So. Again, we're bringing the ribs towards the hips. Three, four, make sure you're not popping that abdomen up. Six, seven, eight, 
nine, and ten. Hold, bring the upper body down, and bring the knees into the chest. You can give it a little rock side to side. Let's go ahead and bring your feet out wider than your mat. Arms can come into a T. Inhale <coughs> and exhale. Drop your legs to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale to the left. Bring it back to center. Bring the legs into the chest. <coughs> and feet flat on the mat. Hands by your sides. Inhale here. Exhale in print. Bring right leg into tabletop. Exhale, bring left leg to meet it. Bring hands behind the head. Inhale, exhale, lift the upper body. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take, we're going to go opposite. So we're taking the left rib and bringing it towards the right hip. But it's a small motion. We're not using our upper body to do it. We're really using the core to do it. And then we're going to switch. So we'll do left and then right. Okay? Inhale and exhale. Twist. And left. And to the right. Try not to come down too far. Left. Right. Left. Right. Oh, yeah. R left. Right, left, you can do it. Right, left, right, left. One more each side, right, and left. Hold, bring the upper body down. Bring the legs down, exhale. It's small but effective, right? So we're gonna do that again. Um, but this time, so the legs come up, we imprint our low back, hands come behind the head, inhale, exhale, bring the upper body. So you can either keep doing side to side, and if this is too much for you, you can always bring your feet down, and same thing, right, small. Or we're going to move into moving the opposite leg too. So if we're coming right rib to the, sorry, left rib to the right hip, we're extending the left leg out and then bring it in, and then opposite side. All right, pick your poison. Inhale and exhale, let's go. Three. Make sure you're not swinging that upper body. It's that small motion, rib to hip. Five, six, breathe, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, you've got it, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, two more, nineteen, and twenty. Hold. Exhale, bring the head down, and bring the feet down. And bring those feet wider than the mat, hands come out to a T. Inhale and exhale, let's drop legs to the right. Inhale, center, drop legs to the left. Come back to center. Go ahead and bring your knees into chest. You can give it a little rock side to side. You can do little circles on that low back. Whatever feels good. All right. A few minutes left. Let's come back. So, inhale. Exhale and print that low back. Inhale, right leg into tabletop. Exhale, left leg to meet it. Hands are gonna, so we're gonna do double leg stretch. So, bring the upper body up. What's gonna happen is, we're gonna extend the legs out and arms out and bring it back in. So we don't wanna go so far that we're fully extended. We wanna engage, keep those lats engaged. 
So the arms are kind of coming up toward the ceiling. All right, here we go. Breathe. Two. Three. If this is too much for your neck, you can always bring the upper body down. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Breathe. Eight. Nine. And ten. Go ahead, bring knees into chest. Give it a little rock side to side. Let's bring those knees into 90 degrees, arms into a T. Inhale and exhale, drop the legs to the right. Head looks straight or to the left. Inhale back to center, exhale, other side. Inhale, center. Let's bring right knee into chest. Left leg can be, the foot can be flat or it can extend straight. Breathe. Go ahead and just roll this ankle out and switch direction. Now, you can keep this leg extended or you can bend it, the left leg. Let's extend the right leg to the sky, hold on behind the thigh or the calf, pull it in toward the chest. Release. Go ahead and cross this leg over the bent left leg. You can stay here, you can just push this leg away, or you can bring that left leg in toward the chest. Arms can wrap around, or you can thread the right arm through the figure four. You can bring the hands to the shin or underneath the knee. And you can stay still or give it a little rock side to side. Feet are flat on the mat. So again, this right leg can stay flat, the foot can stay flat, or it can extend. We're bringing left leg in the chest. Breathe. And let's roll the ankle out. And switch direction of the rollout. And let's go ahead and release, extend that leg to the sky, hold on behind the thigh or the calf, pull that leg in toward the chest. This opposite leg can stay straight or it can bend. And release, make sure that this right leg is bent. Let's cross the left leg over the right, Again, you can gently push the left leg away. You can stay here, or you can bring that right leg into chest. Arms, again, can wrap around, or the left arm can thread through that figure four, holding onto the shin or underneath the knee. And again, you can stay still, or you can rock side to side. Whatever feels good for you here. and release. So let's go ahead and lift the legs up, bring the hands behind, so right underneath the knees behind, and we're gonna just rock it up to seated. So we're gonna do a little bit of rocking. We just wanna be careful of the neck. Um, we don't wanna roll down too far. So bring the legs up, we're balancing here, we curve a little bit, we roll it back, we stop right at the shoulder blades and roll it back up. Now, if we can stay balanced even better, Roll it back and roll it up balance. Roll it back, give me careful of that neck, and roll it up balance. Roll it back, roll it up, roll it back, roll it up. One more. And release. And let's just go ahead Let's bring the feet together, spread those legs apart. 
Inhale and exhale, bring it forward. Breathe. Sit it up nice and tall. Let's go ahead and extend the left leg out, right leg tuck. Inhale the arms up and exhale, bring it forward. Inhale back to center and let's switch legs. Inhale the arms up and exhale, bring it forward. on up and let's just cross the legs a little bit in front of us and walk it forward forward fold and roll it on up and that's all I have for you today good work